the round wise rules we will be discussing uh, 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 and uh, we'll be discussing it separately and we'll put it up uh, in the portal too exclusively for the subscribers you will have those round wise rule on each round what happens etc we'll take up some queries too uh, there have been changes last year uh, from last year in terms of the round wise rules the mds counseling has already started for good there have been changes last year candidates were not allowed to resign their state round two seat for joining an all india round three seat what happens when candidates are not allowed to resign a state round two seat and to join all india round three seat is tamil nadu candidates or any such state candidates will stay with the state without moving to a better option and all india and in round three of the state upgradation was not allowed which means there is a candidates who were not able to upgrade nobody left their seats very minimal upgradations in round three but candidates went to court last year and this was vacated candidates were allowed to resign their state round two seat at the end and they were allowed to actually but they were not allowed to participate in state round three or further rounds but that's fine because of this and candidates were allowed to upgrade as well so this has changed this year for mds even the prospectus of mds reflects that the prospectus of ug reflects that so we believe that the prospectus of pg will also be that simply that will provide that without any opposition r2 to r3 upgradation will be allowed which means you will be able to upgrade from a state round one seat to state round two seat and a state round two seat to state round three seat for which dme put up a lot of hurdles last year good that they have changed their mind and come up with that come up with this entire upgradation process it will also reflect in the pg prospectus is what we believe in application form round uh, three thousand rupees uh, exemption for sest candidates after application is done you will be able to register for choice filling registration in tamil nadu like we said means for choice filling you go ahead and log in that is called registration in tamil nadu application fee in tamil nadu would mean application fee in tamil nadu would mean the application for getting into the merit list after the merit list is published you start registration that for that you have to pay another thousand rupees you can pay it through the payment gateway actually and security deposit that needs to be provided only at the time of choice filling you will finish your application form paying three thousand rupees no security deposit is required when you are filling choices you will have to provide a security deposit government it is thirty thousand. private colleges it is one lakh so in case you are looking for government this includes esa as well government includes esa as well if you are looking for let us say government and private you will pay 1.3 lakhs as a security deposit this has nothing to do with your tuition fee which you will later pay for the allotment letter if your tuition fee let us say you get allotted a private institute seat and your tuition fee is 3.5 lakhs you have to pay 3.5 lakhs not 3.5 minus whatever you pay here to download your tuition fee uh, allotment letter and this 1.3 lakhs will be refunded later 3.5 lakhs will be sent to the institute so this first question will i have to pay 1.3 lakhs if i opt for government and private yes 1 lakh plus 3 lakh 1.3 lakhs need to be paid and tuition fee is not adjusted in this like previous years it used to happen previously but from last year it is last year or the previous year it has not been uh, uh, it has not been adjusted so refund up when it is refunded the 1.3 lakhs that you pay is refunded at the uh, after three months after the counseling ends february march 2025 or something later now uh, next question is i also have a there is also a two lakh security deposit for t and management quota the 14 lakh seats clinical seats if somebody is willing to take or for cmc this 2 lakh security deposit has to be paid in addition to 1.3 lakhs so if you are appearing for looking looking at government private and management quota you need to get 3.3 lakhs ready before choice filling for filling choices for all these three set of seats put together nobody skips government usually otherwise you can have it as 3 lakhs uh, government institute fee structure is 30,000 per annum. Private institute fee structure is 3.5 lakhs per annum for clinical seats. Non-clinical seats is slightly less so. Uh, other than this, uh, we know that PSD and certain institutes, Mel Marotur maybe, some of these institutes have uh, get, uh, uh, this, the fee structure is not different. Actual fee that you paid, you pay 3.5 lakhs to the, to DME to download the allotment letter. And post that, you just have to pay the what uh, admission fee, caution deposit, uh, sec, uh, miss fee, hostel fee, etc. Those are the regular admission related fee. And those institutes that we mentioned, possibly some of them uh, may not ask for a, an additional fee. It is uh, 
uh, in some in many cases in candidates have come back and told us that there are some institutes which ask for an additional fee which is usually the term used is hidden fee and this may range to be higher too depending upon the institute dme has a solution for that you go to the institute after paying 3.5 lakhs if they ask for something which is not in receipt dme tells you that there is a possibility of calling them and they helping out nobody calls but candidates who have called very very minimal candidates who have called dme or tried to tell the institute that they were not ready for that they were ready only for 3.5 lakhs which is the right official fee and they will not pay out a penny extra they've got a savings of 5 lakhs per annum even that would be 15 lakhs solid because somebody raises a voice that is up to you there are also other considerations we do understand there are other considerations of what happens over three years that is why many don't raise a voice but nothing has happened to those candidates who have been raising their voices because they clearly know that if something happens there is another doom pending for them two years back dme there was action even against dme for this part so the high court acted really strong just that candidates are not raising a voice deduction for resigning after round three forfeiture of security deposit in case you resign after round three starts there will be a deadline given forfeiture of security deposit tuition fee paid and discontinuation fee so this is very very crucial for any candidate after round two there will be a resignation deadline given by this time you can resign state round two seat you can go to all india round three they will ensure that possibly at least we believe that this year state auto candidates can go to all india round three this resignation deadline will be towards that after all india round three results you can resign that is what we assume we'll also get to that in detail in the other session on rules and regulations rules of uh, counseling the process of counseling now after that you resign your security deposit registration fee discontinuation fee for 50 lakhs 15 lakhs everything is applicable so let us say you have paid a tuition fee of 3.5 lakhs that plus this discontinuation fee is also applicable any time you discontinue the course after the course joins after six months etc 15 lakhs has to be paid to dme institute wise penalty three years course fee that you can check with the institute